It was just a year ago that Governor Kevin Stitt commuted Julius Jones' death sentence to life without parole for the 1999 murder of Paul Howe. And tonight, the same group who fought for his execution against it have gathered again. Ashley Moss brings us the story. Friends and family of Julius Jones told me today is especially bittersweet, but they woke up this morning grateful that he's still alive. We thought that we'd be that we'd be done this, you know, last year and we're and we're not. These freedom fighters for Julius Jones, just a year ago working against the clock to keep him alive, now giving thanks while wondering if and when he'll make it home. We've had to do a lot of soul searching and reflecting. How do we move forward? What does that look like? One's haunted at the prospect of watching her brother die. His sister Antoinette now hangs on to her faith her community, and the new purpose she and her brother share with his life now preserved. With New Beginny, sometimes it's hard. He still has a passion to help within the community. He still has a passion to care for others. And so that's what we're here to do. The darkness has made so many believe that we couldn't stop the execution of Julius Jones. Tonight, that army smaller now, but still fighting for justice for Julius and others. Peace. No justice. No peace. And if there ain't going to be no justice, there ain't going to be no peace. This is not just about one person, even though it may seem that way in certain respects. This is about equality, equity in our society. In Oklahoma City, Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Ashley, thank you.